What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laracuente here for the Baseball Banter broadcast. And on this broadcast, we're going to be continuing our Sunday simulation series. Now, as you can tell by the hat that I'm wearing, we're going to be taking over the Oakland A's. Now, as is the goal for each one of these simulation streams here on MLB The Show 22, we're trying to turn the team into a World Series winner. So uh, definitely going to be a bit more of a task with this team, as you can see. With the Oakland A's, they are ranked 30th overall, uh, 30th in contact, 28th in power, 27th in pitching, 24th in defense, 21st in speed, and have a overall team budget of 57.5 million. So we have our work cut out for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead here and jump in as we get our settings set as usual. Um, we're going to go in through spring training just to kind of get a feel for the team. Um, so we have quite a few players here uh, that are uh, extension eligible. We're not going to go ahead and do any of that yet. Um, I actually want to get through this season and kind of see where we are, but we definitely have to upgrade our scouts. Now, if you've watched any of these series, you know that I'm very, very big on getting the best discovery and efficiency that we can. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to invest in that. So it seems like Oakland had a couple good scouts and a couple that weren't so great. Um, man, this one's so let's see. I think that we're okay with the ones, the scouts that we have now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead. We're going to fast forward here through most of spring training. Um, we know that it's going to be a very long season. Um, so, all right, so spring training is done. We're gonna head on to the regular season now. When it comes to Oakland, like I said, they are it's going to be a, a tough season to uh, try to put this together. So um, let's put these sponsorships in. And see if we can't do a little something with this team. Again, we need everything under the sun. And we really only have a couple of potential trade pieces in my opinion um so we end up with a season budget of 64.88 million uh, we're going to have a, a lot of work to do we are one of the rebuilding teams in mlb the show 22 so we're gonna go ahead and um, just try to see what we can do where we are by the draft um, and kind of go from there. Now, this isn't going to be a, a easy stream, an easy team to put together to, to turn into a winner. Um, so far, they're not a whole lot going on for us. Um, let's go ahead and clear these notifications. All right. <clears throat> So we're going to jump ahead so we can go to the draft. We're just going to auto draft and let's take a look and see what we got here. Nothing super crazy, um, nothing tremendous to write home about. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and sign all of these guys and we're done with that. Okay, so let's take a look and see where we are standing wise now. We're not the worst in the division, but uh, it's not very good either. So uh, we have a long way off to go for the division itself. Closer than I expected us to be and ahead of more teams than I expected us to be at this point in the season. But what we're going to do is we're actually just going to jump ahead until... Uh, the all-star break and then kind of reevaluate where the team is and 
what we are going to try to do to maximize the value of this squad. Um, okay. All right, so we're going to stop there. Now, things have clearly taken a turn for the worst. All right, so we got some guys on some notable names here. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. But so things have uh, turned out for the worst, as kind of expected. Uh, we've dropped quite a bit. We're now 15 games under 500. And uh, yeah, we need a lot of work. We need a lot of work. So um, we're gonna take a look at the trade block. Uh, Danny Jansen is, well, let's take a look at what, I mean, we need everything except for catcher right now. So um, if we can upgrade at any of these positions, most notably pitching, let's take a look at the pitching staff. So we got a couple of guys that are doing okay in the starting rotation. A couple of guys doing well in the bullpen. Some that are just atrocious. Uh, so we'll kind of see where we can kind of add to this team. Then, oh my goodness, the offense is absolutely dreadful. Now there is some pop on this team, I will say, uh, more surprising than what I was expecting, but not really anybody that's truly standing out in terms of their batting average. Um, got a couple guys who have double digit home runs. Okay. All right, let's see where the teams are right now. Um, so Atlanta is in a playoff push, Philadelphia, the Cubs are rebuilding. Now that's going to be an interesting one. We might be able to make some, some moves there and match up with the Cubs. Um, Brewers are playoff push, the Cardinals, Diamondbacks are rebuilding now as are the Rockies. We might be able to do some stuff there. Dodgers, Padres are, Giants are rebuilding. So interesting. All right, so we might be able to to make some potential moves with some of these clubs. Now, one of the other things that we have to pay attention to on this game is budget, because it can quickly get out of hand. So we want to try to see, so like a guy like Buki, becomes very close to acquirable with the right pieces because the Dodgers are so close to their budget limit. So I wonder. All right, let's see. Christian Walker's pretty close to acquirable here. You can definitely use the upgrade. I want to see something though, because sometimes some of these postseason bound teams would actually give up some guys. Let's see if I go this route with a starter. Let's see. Vlad is like super close to acquirable right now. Huh. I wonder. Let's see 
if there's something yeah, not without moving even then wow huh. but then i would need a catcher So let's see if we can swing um, like this or do like this, I should say. Trying to see if there's a combination where we can get huh. so I'd be able to get all three of those guys. Taking on Eugenio's contract is going to make that difference. But let's see. doing all that spectacular but it is a difference for the team in a big way so let's see what it would take Possibly going to be able to get this deal done. I don't know. <laughs> the higher I go up on this list of our roster, the less probable this feels. Without giving up something that we've already got yet. See? Alright, so maybe that's not really an option. Maybe it would take both for Nathaniel Bowl. Let's see. So the Braves are in the playoff push. Let's see if we can get someone from them. Matt Olson. This would give us Duval, Arcia. Not overly enthralled in any of them right now. All right, 
right. Um, let's see if we can't get something going with the Cubs. So half. Contreras. Another one of these deals that feels so close yet so far to actually acquirable. Because I don't want to go all the way up our depth chart to the guys that are on our major league squad right now. So I would like to save those guys for uh, something else. Someone else. Alright, um... If we try it just for Hap and Contreras. Okay, so that's a possibility. All right, let's make this move. Because now, I could then get Hunter Renfro and Devin Williams. Renfro's not having a good season. All right. Um. Wonder what it would take. Very. So, if we can swing this deal, get Brian Reynolds, Key Brian Hayes, and David Bednar, doesn't really feel like a possibility. of an ask. There wouldn't really be anybody else that I would want.
have to try to figure out how to maximize what we're getting back. So we definitely need a shortstop, second base, third base. sort of move. Uh, this is difficult because Oakland doesn't really have anyone of value right now other than Sean Murphy, and I'm not really trying to move him if I can move Contreras, because Contreras is going to be a free agent. So there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to sign him, and more than likely we won't be able to. So it's like I don't want to get rid of Sean Murphy just for the sake of getting rid of him, even though his value is a little higher for that very reason. That we likely won't re-sign Contreras, so that's why I'm trying to flip Contreras instead of keeping him. But... Kelly to plug into the rotation. Dalton Varsho to plug into the outfield and he comes with some depth and Christian Walker to plug in at first. Not having a great season. Trevor Story and Rafael Devers. Both of them are having terrible seasons. Casey Mize, Avi Baez, who's having a dreadful year, and Austin Meadows. Yeah, 
Okay, I don't know that there's going to be anybody that's really going to... Any deal that we can make that's really going to aid us. So, uh, we're probably going to have to go back. So Walker, Marshall, and Kelly. Alright, so let's make this move. And let's go ahead and... Re process our lineup so hap and we're just going to move all the new guys up to the top here So now let's revamp the rest of this, right? So not a ton of offense coming from any one of these guys. What we're gonna plug in at DH. Hapson left. Pache is going to stay in the center. Alright, so now we need some infield help. So we need second, third, and short if we can find it. We need a whole new bench, really. Seth Brown over Pacha. So we need second, third, and short, and we need a new bench. All right, so let's check the trade block. Christian Arroyo actually having a pretty decent season. So. We were able to acquire these guys if we had the right pieces. So I'm wondering if we can still make a deal happen. I think we're going in the wrong direction to be able to make a deal work. Not for all of them, anyway. Alright, so... Devers and Arroyo. If we can make it work. Don't need a shortstop. But all right, let's make this move. Now a lead miss Diaz is the only one on the block. Okay. 
So Royal Endeavors. We're gonna redo the lineup in a minute. It's just I want to get the players into place so that we can make it happen. All right. So we need a short stop. But we're also running out of top flight prospects to get a deal done. I don't really want to give up Soderstrom right now. Okay, so. Close on the shot. So, we're really close on Dansby. I think Dansby might be the one that we try and go after. He's not having a good season, though. That's probably why he's so close to acquirable. Really Adonis. Down, but it's not as bad. Right, let's see what it would cost. Because if we can get a guy like Willie Adamas, then it does significantly up our ability so we would have to give up Pache I mean offensively Pache is nothing but that defense Try going after Bobachet, Ahmed Rosario. Or Dansby Swanson. And Willie Adamas. Alright, so I'm trying to maximize my return for anything that I'm giving up. And 
trying to give up as little major league capital as, pro as possible. So it is looking like I'm going to have to give up major league capital to be able to get a deal done for Bo Bichette. But the thing is, is that Bo Bichette gives me the most time going forward. So I can't really be too mad about it. Let's make this new. All right, now we have far too many players on the major league roster, so we're gonna send some guys down. since we have so many pitchers. So let's take a look and go ahead and try to maximize our platoon situation here. This is going to be the lineup that we go with for the age, I don't care. Um, start off with the same players and work our way from there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now let's reorganize these positions real quick, just so that I can kind of see what we have. So everybody now has a at least a secondary position that they're in. And now let's try to figure out this lineup. the lineup. And I also feel like we need more help on the pitching side of things. So let's take a look right back at the well let's update our trade block. So shortstop's covered second base Look, Kluber. It's more so relievers that I, I want to look at right now. All right, so let's see if we can't find ourselves some relievers. Problem is that running out of tradable assets.
All right. Not the easiest thing to do. Trying to acquire some. Numbers. this all together. But if we can, I definitely think that it will change the course of our franchise. towards the end of this stream. Alright, so it's gonna cost us Pache, but we can get two legit arms for our bullpen. So we're gonna do it. Alright. So we now have a revamped bullpen. addition to the starting rotation have made serious additions to our lineup so we're gonna go ahead and we gotta clip 40 we gotta clip six players off the 40 man roster so not too difficult remove that's one two three outright release somebody. Alright, so I'm going to have to make a trade then.
Alright, so... as well uh, but he's on the 40 of course he is oh man they don't make it easy I'll tell you that This deal. Perfect. Alright, and we're gonna get. Yeah. Let's see, do we have anybody in the home run derby? We do not. Skip that. Let's take a look and see who made it for our team to the all star game. AJ Puck. And that's it. Okay then. All right. So let us continue on. So we're just going to go ahead through the rest of the season because we are done with the moves that we're going to make for this year has not really helped so far well uh, we are 20 games under 500 right now so let's finish this off back up to the majors and back up. All right. All right. So we're coming to the end here. We're going to go ahead and skip through the rest of the year. All right. So we have reach the end of the regular season we finish at 72 and 90 obviously not good enough to finish out and make it to the postseason so uh, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward here the Rays have defeated the Brewers in the 2022 World Series all right so we're going to advance so we've got some coaches to replace so there's going to be a lot of work to do for this team in the upcoming season uh, i think that we're going to have quite a bit of uh situations on our hands to be able to try to make this team a world series winner um so this is where we're going to leave off for this week's episode. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It does a huge service as we continue to try to grow this community here on the Baseball Banter broadcast. If you want to show more support, follow us on all our social media channels and on Twitter at Banter underscore baseball on our Instagram or TikTok pages, Baseball Banter broadcast. Head over to LaDaQuintaLedger.com. It is our blog site where we cover the world of major league baseball as many other things with daily articles and if you want to show more support head over to baseballbanterbroadcast.com it is our merchandise shop so i want to thank you guys for tuning in like i said if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button as more than 95 percent of our audience is not yet subscribed so i want to thank you guys for tuning in make sure you check us out next week when we jump into episode two where we try to build the oakland A's into a world series winner I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next broadcast when we banter about baseball. Peace.